Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be informed when I upload any new content. And as you saw from the title of this video, this is a DIY project. Now I've got an entryway table that kind of becomes a little catch-all for keys or mail or something. And, you know, I try to make that look as nice as I possibly can, but it's a functional table. Now, I usually will experiment with DIYs on my own and then kind of tell you about it and then decide if I'm going to make another one. But I don't know if I'm going to make another one of these. So I've got an idea in my head that I'm going to try to execute to create a basket that'll make that area look a little bit more attractive for collecting things like mail and different things that show up. So I've got one of these Dollar Tree baskets and I plan to weave the nautical rope and the rough rope twine, the jute twine, through this to create a nice basket and then embellish it with one of the Lakeshore anchors. I'm using zip ties. I've got my glue gun ready if I need it, although I don't think I'm going to need it. But I hope this works out and I hope I don't make an idiot out of myself because I usually like doing this off camera. But let's see how this goes. Okay, to start with, my, my plan is to have the white cotton nautical rope down through the bottom and across the top and in the middle to put the rough brown rope. I've got an idea and I hope it works. I don't even know if I have enough on hand or if I'm going to have to go and get more supplies. But this is the basket I chose. It seemed to have the most... Um... Oh, sorry. Look, see, already, already. So professional, Maggie, so professional. <laughs> sorry about the jostling. I had to go grab some scissors. Okay, I love that they tape the ends of these and I'm going to just unravel this and I hope that this works. I've got high hopes for this because I don't want um, the zip ties kind of showing. I'm going to do them on the inside, but I'm going to get those here on the end. So let me see if I can... I literally have never done anything like this before, so I hope this works. I hope it doesn't slip out. I will trim the ends once the project is finished. And then there might be a need to super glue some, you know, not super glue, to hot glue the ends. You know, this loose end right here, but we'll start there and just see how this goes. We're gonna use the basic weaving in and out, in and out, and just see right from here. I really hope what I envision in my brain is what comes out. Didn't count on it swirling up like that. This should be fun. This is, it's unusual for me to, uh, I usually draw inspiration from what I see other people doing. So I don't think I've seen anybody do this before, but, um, oh boy, how did I get that? Just see if I can see if I even like the way this looks. Again, I've never done this, so I don't know how this is going to look. Oh, isn't this fun? Let's just leave it all knotted up and swirled like that. Anybody have tips on how to prevent that? <laughs> oh, 
well, you know I'm real. <laughs> I don't pretend to be perfect in how I execute things. Okay, as you watch me struggle to unravel. Okay, Let's see if I, this will work a little bit better. Could be that it was. Um... And no, of course not. It doesn't do what I'm off camera. As soon as I come back on camera, it's swirling back up again. Maybe it's because it's so long. I'm not sure, but we'll see how this continues. I imagine part of the length of this rope has a lot to do with it. So, so far. Or what to do to stop that from doing that. But you see, this isn't super hard. It's just a little challenging with this. By the way, comment below if you've got a tip on how to keep that from raveling, uh, unravel, I mean, rolling up like that. But that's just one of, I guess, the, the things you deal with, unless you've got a really awesome tip. want that creating an issue. Because it's tightening up the coil. I want that coil to be nice and loose. And then we just keep going around. Now as I'm coming up to start my second layer, I see that I could go under here, but that's going to repeat the exact same pattern and I want it to be varied. So what I'm going to do, I want it to alternate. So I'm just, instead of going under this, under this, I'm going to go over it. And it looks like the best way to keep it from unraveling is to just do one little thing at a time. One little, not to try to weave it multiple times. That just creates a lot of drama and a lot of coiling and everything else. So now I'm coming under this one, whereas previously this was over the top. And that way you get that really nice basket weave. And then you have the variation. And so I'm just going to continue that. This will definitely take a lot of patience, I think, because uh, you're weaving this whole thing through, but you want it to look nice. And of course you can vary this however you want. If you want to weave it under, and I just dropped. Huh. 
So professional, Maggie. That's okay. Because this just proves if I can do this, anybody can. <laughs> okay. And that's looking nice. As I get to this, I'm going to want to skip that one. On the corner, I'm hoping I don't regret that. Now I'm going to have to go over it because I need to go under the next one. This is that little bit of uh, trial and error that you have to go through in order to make sure you're getting it exactly the way you want it. So this one must go over the top. There we go. So that I can then... I don't know how many this will take to fill this up, but I think I have enough. Yep. And that's coming along nicely. I never have really had a, um, you know, theme, so to speak, in my house, uh, coastal-wise, which is really weird because I live in a coastal community. You'd think I've got a plethora of things available that, could, that would allow me to decorate with that theme. And uh, it's just um, odd, I feel, that I've never done that before idea how many it's going to take to get this going but we'll see won't we also make sure that you're keeping this out of the way so it doesn't wound up wind up getting woven into your strings okay so now I'm coming up on my third layer and I want let's see if this goes in okay This will be, I'm going up to this new. I'm wondering if I can come up through here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so because the third row goes up a little bit because there's a change in the difference and there's not enough room to do a third rope here. It goes up a little bit because you see how that changes the basket changes can you see that so you do have to go up a little bit here on the third row hopefully there will be enough covering that it won't be that noticeable of a gap but that may just be for that very first one and if if it's an issue you could probably put it towards the back it's near the bottom so I don't think it'll be that much of an issue because these baskets are smaller at the bottom than they are at the top so they have to do something to um, change well this one may have to wind up being the same for this row it's really tricky We'll see how this turns out. I'm super excited. It just came to me this morning to try this because I've got some mail that's collecting from um, Oh yeah, see? So for this one, this row, the way it's configured, these were the same, but as I'm going into this row, it's opposite. So that's nice. so far so good really hoping this turns out the way I want it to okay I 
and I don't plan to cut any of the yarn or the rope rather I'll just keep weaving it around however it turns out is how it turns out and then I will secure that and then I'm going to try my second rope which will be the rough twine I don't know I actually think I what do you think I actually like this that it's kind of the same we'll see how that goes I'm not gonna redo the whole thing I'm just gonna let it flow and not worry about okay all right so here we have this is where it's ending. I'm going to grab me another zip tie and I'm going to secure that inside. But then also grab my rope that's going to be the next step in that and I hope that it doesn't interfere. I hope I get this right. Let's just start this. Okay. Some of that will be hidden, but we'll start the next. We'll just continue on. Most of those imperfections will be inside. And then the last will be whatever the top is, however many it takes to finish off the top. The top will be finished with the nautical rope as well. I don't know how many rows I'll get. Again, this is something I'm just trying to come up with in my mind. I think it's going to be pretty. One row. Okay, now we're coming up to the next row. You see what I'm talking about? This was one row of the cotton rope and it was finished off. See, this was started the second row and now we're coming up on starting the third row. This is where it jumped before. So I am going to need to move it up. So let me... is where it jumps because there's not enough room if you don't like this corner which always seems to be where the rows shift I'm kind of glad it all happens on the same side so then <clears throat> you're not gonna have multiple places that have weird little things in them Let's see how many rows we get out of this I'm guessing it's going to take three of these. That's my guess based on what I've gotten so far. And I'm sure I could cut those things down early. Yeah, I actually do like the way that looks. I 
This is something super simple that you can do with dollar store products <clears throat> that don't take any time. You're talking about four bucks and hopefully it looks as chic as I'm hoping it will look. Any color you want, but it's a, it's a nice way to kind of, it's your little touch. It's your little touch. I've seen folks just wrap the um, the rope around itself, you know, like uh, glue it on top of itself and make a cloth basket that way with a, a little bottom. I'm like, ooh, I haven't been brave enough to try that yet. They don't make it too tall. But to me, I just don't know if structurally it would be strong enough. But if you wanted to do it like to be the, the bottom of a you know, a fake flower pot or something like that in your home. You know, to cover up the bottom of something ugly. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what you would use that for. I think they used it in their bathroom to put um, things in. But this to me seems like it strengthens it. Yeah, this has got to be the back. It's ugly. <laughs> So far, this is, you know, really coming along. I like it. I think I'm going to use two of this burlap rope and then finish off with one more of the cotton. I think that'll look really nice. Give me a little bit more of, um, and you know, maybe it was a mistake switching out the textures of the ropes. I don't know. I thought it would be a good idea. Going on my third. This I, I'm liking how this is turning out. Yep. These all seem to be occurring in the same place. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and get my next rope going. I think for now, I'm going to just leave that end like that and secure it later, just so I can keep going. The way I did it last time, I didn't think was the best way to do it. So let me just get some rope going in here. You may not even need the, you know what I mean? turns out. Boy, what fun for you guys to watch me weave. Okay, I've gotten the two rows of the rough rope and I'm getting ready to start on the finishing touches for this. I ended right here in the corner and so I'm just going to come up from this corner and do the same as I've been doing, because I want to continue. I've actually realized, and of course the cotton rope is a little trickier to work with. 
So what I'm just going to do, I'm not even going to secure it just yet with um, the uh, zip ties. We'll see if I need it. The patience of going around carefully one at a time in and out so it doesn't roll up and ravel. I want to keep it loose because what's that doing it it's tightening up the twist of the rope and you don't want that I like the looseness of it I'm hoping it keeps its uh, very happy that it you know kind of ended on the side here so then I could start this row where I did it's gonna be a nice little, little craft once I'm at least I'm hoping it's looking looking pretty good there's a few rough spots here and there but um, that's where you learn and you can make other projects around your house this is my first experiment and I usually again do these things off camera so that I, when I'm running into issues I can get those figured out before I actually go on camera and go look I'm an expert at this look what I just did <laughs> not that I don't think anybody ever feels that way that they're an expert but you know, I'm just ultra hard on myself when it comes to expertise and things like that. You know, because I like things to be perfect. Anybody else suffer from that? As nice as you can make it, I try to relax and let things go as they are. <laughs> Not always easy. This is pretty fun. It's really not that hard either. It's amazing what they provide us. The materials they provide for us at Dollar Tree for relatively little. I don't know of any place that sells these things for cheaper. So if you know of a better place, I mean, because I've looked at, you know, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and the stuff they have is generally significantly higher than what the Dollar Tree has. Although they had, they had, they do beat Dollar Tree in a few areas. I'll give them that. They do. But, um, we'll see. Okay. I'm finishing up this last row. I didn't want you guys to be bored with watching me do the same thing over and over again. I ran into a couple of snags, but had to redo a few things but overall I really love how this is coming out I think it is really looking just the way I expected it to with a few surprises here and there I'm hoping you're seeing this and then this should be yep the final end I do have to get my scissors where did I put them I first want to get a piece of tape because this stuff will unravel quickly and just wrap that around the rope and grab my handy scissors. And 
And there you have the basket. Okay, I'm gonna get a few more zip ties so I can take care of these things here on the inside. Just different ways to secure them internally. In the basket so that they're not, oh my gosh, what did I do? Really, zip ties? You shouldn't see these from the outside. So, let's see. Okay. And then next, I wanted to secure this on, and I think I'm just going to unknot this and then just tie it. I may do a dab of hot glue. I mean, that's... Do you guys think? Do you like it? Oh, this may not be the side I want to do it on. Let me take that off. I just tied it to the front that was facing me. Let me see. Let's back this up, this camera up, so we can look. It's one side, and there's the other, you know? I like this side better. So, I'm just going to secure it here like this. Look at this. Already, look at that. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this DIY tutorial of me bumbling around and trying to figure it out, but I like the way this turned out. I hope this gives you an idea and inspires you to do some other things for your home to make it look beautiful and to add your own little touch. Make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye until next time.